Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's a fresh seven in the morning. I'm out of the shower, just getting myself ready for the day, spraying it's a 10 in my hair and combing it out. I'm gonna go ahead and let it air dry for the beginning of this video because that'll make it so much easier to straighten and style later on. I am going to head downstairs now and start prepping things for the kids. The twins are still drinking bottles. They are going to be 11 months old in the middle of March. So in just a couple of days here, and then we will be transitioning them to a mix of milk and formula, and then eventually over to all milk. I'll be getting rid of my baby Brisa machine and giving it to my brother and his fiance. We are expecting a little niece on that side of the family. So I'm very excited for that. Considering we have all boys, I finally get to buy some girl clothes. And then I'm going to go ahead and make breakfast for the older boys, just some waffles and fruit, really easy. After the twins are done their bottle, I will go ahead and prep them some pancakes. I'm also getting lunch ready to go today. Both boys have school this morning, so I have to make sure their lunch is ready and some fresh water to take along. All of the things you have to remember bright and early in the morning, you definitely need caffeine as a busy mom of four. We're also going to get some working out done later, and I'm going to share with you guys Easter baskets as well for the adults. I'm going to get dinner going in the crock pot. This is my favorite thing to do on busy days. I'm going to make a Mississippi chicken. I've made the roast of this before, and it was really good, but I saw this recipe on Pinterest. You just take chicken and put it in your crock pot with some ranch seasoning. I'm using some brown gravy seasoning for this, just one packet of it, and then you can use pepper and seed peppers or banana peppers. I have banana peppers. I just grabbed those right off of Amazon and some butter. I'm doing about four scoops of butter and then just going to cook this on low for about six hours and I'm going to serve it with some rice later. It's going to be a super yummy and easy dinner. Definitely give this one a try if you are a busy parent on the go. I love crock pot meals on busy days. It just makes life so much easier. The twins are going to eat their pancakes now, so I'm going to get them all set up in their high chairs, get some dishes done, and some laundry done momentarily. Oh no, anxiety creeps up on me. Is this how it's supposed to feel? Tell me when it's over, I got someplace that I gotta be. It won't leave. My friends, hey, get out of your comfort zone, it's a blessing in disguise Get out of what you call home, your name is written in the sky It might feel just like you're on your own But baby, it's another lie, remember you were me I try to work, 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 but it doesn't work I try to say something, but there's a word I try to just So I'm actually salvaging my Valentine's Day flowers. These were from Costco and they lasted so long. Costco flowers are great. So it's been a couple of weeks and I'm just pulling out the flowers that still look alive because I wanted to save them in my kitchen. They were from all of the boys. So we're just gonna make a new arrangement out of the flowers that are left while the twins are still playing in their high chair for a quick minute. They're playing with their little suction cup toys. These toys are so handy if you have a baby that's high a high chair age they just stick right on and they can play with these little things the first one's melissa and doug and the second one i forget that came from okay Walmart. now that we have our morning routine underway the big boys are off to school with my husband the babies are here about to go up for their morning nap soon um and i hopefully will get my workout and then these are the days that i really like to take advantage and do a workout so maybe it'll be leg day which will be a big leg day but the boys and i went over to bath and body works the other day they actually love to walk around the mall it's so cute so we went during the twins nap and left my husband here with them um, and the big boys and I went out and we picked up a couple things at Bath and Body Works I thought I would just share with you guys some of the new spring things and then I also think in today's video I'm gonna share what's going in mine and my husband's Easter baskets I always like to make up baskets for us or at least him and then 
once we had kids I started getting Easter baskets for myself because you know they start to wonder like why doesn't mom have a basket and you know what mama wants to wake up on Easter morning and be excited you know I'm excited for the kids of course but be excited about some new goodies too why not YOLO um so Here's our little Bath and Body Works haul. We picked up this soap, the Pineapple Mango. I love the foaming ones for the kids. The gel ones are a little bit messier. These are easier for them to use. Um, so this sounded really good. It has fresh pineapple juice, mango, and vine ripened raspberry. Sorry for my voice, I'm still getting over that horrible cold. This one's strawberry pound cake. It's fresh strawberries, golden shortcake, and whipped cream. <coughs> This one's to go in my husband's Easter basket for his sink upstairs. It's the eucalyptus and spearmint aromatherapy. He loves the uh, stress relief scent. So this one's just eucalyptus oil and spearmint oil. So got that to put in his basket. I'll show you guys the other things in a little bit. This is Electric Limeade. The woman at the front recommended this one. It's frozen limeade, strawberry swirl, and a sea salt rim. Kind of sounds like a really good margarita. Um, she said that one's really good. And this one is sweet orange and agave. I just like the neutral packaging on it for summertime. This one is effervescent citrus, golden agave, and jasmine musk. Not sure how that's going to be. And we did get just one candle. They were on sale for $13.95 and we had a 10 off of 30 coupon. So we all agreed on this candle for the summer. It's the pineapple mango. I think it's the same like the soap. It has the fresh pineapple juice, mango, vine ripe and raspberry. Smells so good. It smells just like summertime and the yellow color is really pretty for summer. So that's just our little Bath and Body Works haul. So I'm about to go and get some laundry done, get the twins upstairs and get my workout done. And then I think we're going to take a walk today. I think it's going to be in the 50s by the time the twins get up from their nap. So I'll give them their bottle, get them right into the stroller and we will go outside and get some sunshine and enjoy the walk. Just the three of us. Later, if it's not rainy, it's supposed to rain today. The big boys will probably want to ride their bikes to the playground and I'll just take the twins in their stroller again. So that's something that we like to do at nighttime before bed now that it's getting warmer out. Also upcoming, I'm so excited to start my in the ground garden this year. I've got some little decorations and pots for it. So cute. And I cannot wait to go to the store and pick out what type of plants that I want to grow. I'm definitely thinking tomatoes, cucumbers. I need to get some marigolds. All of my herbs like I did last year in my um, raised bed, they did really well in there. But as far as in the ground, I want to do the tomatoes, the cucumbers, maybe some type of squash and strawberry. I'm not sure about like a lettuce or kale. We shall see. But I'm actually going to go and get the plants from Lowe's or Home Depot. Um, and then once I get more proficient in keeping that all alive, maybe I'll start doing my own seeds. But that's going to be in the future. I just want to see how this goes this year in the ground. We've got our little fence around it. I, I might be able to show you guys out the window. Um, to hopefully keep like rabbits and things out of there. We might have to put some chicken wire, but we'll see. So I'm really excited to get that going soon and I will definitely be sharing that with you guys. So it's kind of hard to tell, but here is the little garden area that we have. We have Mickey and Minnie stepping stones, but it's got a little fence around it. We might have to add the chicken wire too because rabbits might get through that for sure. But I'm gonna plant some vegetables on this side and this side and we will see how it does this year. And here's my raised bed. This came from Sam's Club last year. I really like it. I did not want to get rid of it. So I'm going to put my herbs in here and keep them out of the ground. So that way they don't take over the whole garden and just focus on the vegetables and fruit in the garden. Next up is my daily morning laundry. Doing the laundry daily really helps me keep on top of it as a family of six. If I did this every other day or once a week per person, it just would not be enough at all. I would just be so overwhelmed with massive mountains of laundry to fold and put away. So I just wash everybody's clothes one time overnight every single night and then fold it right up in the morning and put it away in each person's room. It has definitely made it more manageable this way. Sometimes I will need to do two loads a day just depending what we're doing, like if we're doing bedding or towels, but I at least run it one time 
every single night. I highly recommend doing this if you are a larger family and you're just feeling super overwhelmed with the laundry. Today I was washing some sheets, so I did have two loads of wash. I actually went to the Home Depot the other day, or Lowe's, I forget which one it was, and they had this new machine that is a washer and dryer all in one. How cool is that? I wonder if that will be the new thing. But now I'm going to head down into the basement and get a leg workout done. I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of this just to get you guys motivated to get your bodies moving. It's really important, especially as a mom, to have the time to take care of yourself, whether it's just 15, 20 minutes, or if you have a full hour, even better. But today I'm going to be working on squats, doing some of the leg machines, and also riding on my Peloton. I'm not going to show you my full workout just because that would be a super long video and that might not interest everybody, but I figured a few little clips just getting things set up and getting things done might be all the motivation that you need to want to get your body up and moving. After this, the twins are going to come down for lunch and we are going to get on a walk outside. down in the basement um we did workout walk now i'm all red and hot so i wanted to show you guys what is going in mine and my husband's easter baskets with the exception of a few things some things haven't come in from amazon yet i got some nerds gummy clusters for my husband's i got some hand cream for mine i'm always running out of hand lotion i don't know why um and there was one more thing that i got for mine let me see um I just ordered it the other day. It's supposed to come in tonight, but I don't think it'll be here in time for this video. Um, oh, it was gardening gloves for my garden. So I got myself a pair. They were on sale for like $2.15 on Amazon. So I thought that was really good. Um, so aside from the gardening gloves and the hand cream, what's going in mine are these Vera Bradley flip flops. I got these on sale from Vera Bradley, like super duper cheap. Um, and they're just like a fun pink color for the summertime. Also just a little bag of this bunny crunch popcorn. And then these unreal um, chocolates. These taste like almond joys. They're so good. I love almond joys. So those are the few things that are gonna go in my basket unless I see something out and about. And then for my husband's basket, our baskets are pretty small by the way, they're not as big as the kids. Um, I got him a big bag of the Twix minis. Twix are his favorite candy. Also some of the popcorn, there's the bunny crunch and the kettle corn. And a Lonnie New energy drink in the blue slush favor flavor. That's his favorite flavor. I also got myself one of these, but I got home and it exploded. So I'll just have to get a replacement flavor and put that in at some point. But at least I know my husband's basket is covered. And then I can go get mine later. Just some deodorant I got on clearance at Target. The Alani New smoothie gummies. And then... His name is Tony, so I got this Tony's Chocoloni chocolate bar. This came from Thrive Market. And then also I showed you guys earlier the aromatherapy hand soap for his sink in the bathroom. Um, just some little things here and there so we can just have a little basket ourselves. And the Nerds gummy clusters are going to be going into his basket as well. So maybe that gave you guys some ideas of some little things you can put in your basket or your spouse's basket. It doesn't have to be elaborate. I just do a few things so that way the kids know the Easter Bunny came for Mama and Dada too. And it just makes it fun for us on Easter morning. So I heard the crock pot go off. I'm going to go ahead and finish up dinner and show you guys what it looks like.
So we're going to go ahead and make some brownies for after dinner. These are the Miss Jones baking mixes. You can find them at Walmart. They are gluten free, but they're so good. And they always have different seasonal flavors. I loved the ones at Christmas time. We're also making some rice in the rice cooker to go ahead and have that with the chicken just for a super simple, easy weekday dinner. And this uh, brownie mix actually came with some frosting and we're just going to add some sprinkles to it. I had some dye free sprinkles in the pantry so I love to use like dye free cleaner ingredients when I can especially for the kids so that is what we are going to do tonight the Amazon truck just pulled up so I figured I'd show you guys these are the nerds gummy clusters for my husband's Easter baskets the um, gardening gloves for mine and the little hand lotion this is the coconut water scent and I love everything coconut so I'm gonna add those to our bags now so you'll have to let me know down in the comments below, are you guys doing adult Easter baskets? And if so, what do you typically put in them? Here is how dinner turned out and the brownies also, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any future videos. I appreciate you guys watching so much and I will catch you in my next one. Bye.